Hi, so it's in the closet Tuesday and I have another letter. I've also got a couple of more YouTube videos that are actually coming up with the do's and don'ts of winter wear, wedding wear, and um, a couple of other um, videos um, about packing for trips because it seems as though a lot of people right now are needing that. <laughs> Anyway, this letter um, I came across says, Hey, Sonia, I am so distraught. I have a wedding to attend coming up shortly, and I'm horrified. I have been asked to sit with the bride's family. We have been friends for 15 years. They are wealthy and very stylish. The maid of honor came up to me one day and said in front of everyone, Please be careful if you decide to wear consignment store clothes as they may have belonged to one of the guests. I was stumped. Now at every dinner leading up to this wedding, everyone is looking at me sideways. I have not done anything to these people to deserve this. At times I do shop in consignment stores, but not always. These are some of the looks I have chose. Can you please help me decide which one to wear? I would really appreciate your help. Love, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so she's actually sent me um, a, a few different looks. Now, unfortunately, this was from June of 2021. So it, it breaks my heart that it's taken me so long to actually get to all these letters. Um, but she sent me, um, uh, you know, quite a few photos um, and some of it, hopefully she went with this Burberry outfit because I do know that outfit and that was stunning. In fact, when I call you, because I will be calling you, um, there's a Burberry outfit that I would love to actually do a wedding ensemble and then to kind of like repurpose it because the top of it can be a great blouse and the bottom of it is a great pencil skirt. Hopefully that's the one you went with, but I will call you to find out which one you did wear because they're all relatively nice. Um, first of all, when a person is actually calling you out like that, that maid of honor was doing, um, I've learned and I hope that you responded a court, you, um, you kind of like can grasp this is that um, don't allow another person's envy or jealousy or insecurity anger you and make you come out of your character because that's really truly what she's doing. Maybe she has a problem with the fact that she's the maid of honor, but you're sitting with the family. I mean, she wants to be in both places at the at the same time, I guess. It's not good enough for her just to be the maid of honor. She's got to actually belittle you and make you feel horrible. Um, it just reminds me of that movie, Bridesmaids. I mean, it's sort of like that, that that woman was horrible to the little um, funny character, the blonde lady. Um, anyway, so the thing is, is that I think that that's kind of like what she was doing. She was throwing shade at you. And I know that I've grown a lot because, well, not really. I mean, when did this happen to me? Um, yeah, we had a little bit of a window in the pandemic and I hadn't worn this Valentino outfit that I got prior to the pandemic. And so what was really interesting is that I was going into an event and this one woman, she just has it in for me constantly. I don't know what her problem is, but whatever it is, I won't have that problem anymore um, because I'm ready for her. But nevertheless, I wore the Valentino outfit and surely enough, just like clockwork, oh my gosh, you look so great. Oh my gosh, you look fabulous. What are you wearing? I'm wearing Valentino. <gasps> Oh, vintage. And I looked at her and I'm like, oh my gosh, did you have one of these in the 60s or the 50s? Did you have one of these in the 60s? And she looked at me like, what? And I said, <laughs> anyway, um, that was me being a little bit naughty, but 
I did like it and I have not had any more problems out of that person. However, I'm pretty sure that you're a much bigger person than I am. Um, sometimes I can get a bit <laughs> I think that's that's from the modeling days. It just it just comes out. I can't help myself. So anyway, but getting back to this, um, I'm gonna call you anyway just because I want to see um, what you chose. But people, anyone that's out there that's listening to this and um, you can kind of like relate to it, you know, just don't let a person get you angry and have you come out of character because that's really truly what they want you to do. They want to say, uh-huh, see, I told you. I told you this is what she was really like. I told you. So, I mean, I think that that's, it's her insecurities. It's very, it's very poignant to point out that this woman probably just had a problem with the fact that you were sitting with the family because you did point that out. Anyway, not to harp on all of this. I'll call you. I'll find out. I will see if we can actually do that YouTube together with us repurposing your Burberry outfit because I think I know this outfit. I was looking at it because it's quite stunning. Um, there's nothing wrong, by the way, with shopping in consignment stores. If that's what you can afford, that's what you like to do. There's a lot of people who can afford to walk into Chanel, but they still would rather go to a consignment store, a thrift shop, and or um, um, a pre-worn kind of shop and just buy um, a Chanel from there. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, consignment shops and thrift stores are very much in vogue right now and they are environmentally friendly sustainable and ethical i mean so i think that the if you do shop in vintage stores more power to you if you do shop in consignment stores more power to you go on because i mean i think that's the way that's the way people are doing it now anyway so anyway and you can also resell it you can sell it back to them <laughs> <laughs> so I'll chat with you a little bit later. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah. Bye.